let me just say something about uh i want to say something more about the movie the movie joker um and maybe we can add this to my my previous review maybe this will be joker 2. i got a lot of criticism um in the comment section on joker that no i didn't understand the movie the movie's really about um uh, you know uh, um the character of joker who who has this awful childhood and is mentally ill and 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 uh, is abused by his mother and his mother is terrible towards him and now everybody's terrible towards him and it's all kind of a a, a, a movie about about mental health okay now <laughs> i i mean i think that's a complete misreading of what the movie's about if the movie Joker was about mental health and, and somebody dealing with mental health issues and being abandoned and, and we all feel sorry for him at the end of the movie, then you wouldn't have had to kill Batman's parents. You wouldn't have had to had riots in the streets. You wouldn't have had a, a social commentary around the whole thing. You would have just had a, a, a movie, and I'm sure there have been movies about this, but somebody who is horribly mentally retarded at the end of the movie uh after killing all these people you, the, the, this mental uh, mentally ill person would be in in a mental institution and and you would feel sorry for the person you would feel even worse for his victims and uh, there would be some resolution at the end of the movie in terms of where he goes but no and and look i know this is a setup for batman movies but somebody chose to make this let me also make other one of the things so some people said no you're on you missed the movie because here's what the director said about the movie it doesn't matter what an artist says about his artwork i mean it's almost irrelevant what an artist says about his artwork what he intended to project the question is what objectively was projected in the movie what objectively was reflected in the movie somebody this director chose to make a movie about joker he chose to make this particular movie to set up this particular evil character in the batman series and he chose to set him up in a particular way and he chose to create a world around him because that's what directors that's what movies do they create a world he chose to create a world around him with particular characteristics and particular motivations particular actions now it's true that the batman story constrains him in terms of what he can do but he chose to do it and, and the batman universe inherently project a certain view of the world a certain view of life a certain view of the characters there's no way to get around that so the movie is what it is not what the director says it is and not what you want it to be it is what integrates all of it now if it's a good work of art now not all movies are good in the sense that they integrate into a theme but joker actually does integrate into a theme now this is my attempt to define the theme of joker and and i'm curious to see uh you know to see what what you guys think because you have to be able to integrate here the life of joker and his arc and at the same time what is going on around him because what is going on around him is not irrelevant to the movie it is a main portion of the movie partially because what is going on around him affects him for example he doesn't get his medication because the government isn't providing it anymore because they're incompetent and they've run out of money but there's also a garbage strike and there's also massive unemployment and there is also riots in the streets riots in the streets that adopt his murderous persona his persona as a murderer as their theme so what is the same with what is happening to the people out in the streets and what is happening during his life to Joker. What happens to them both? Well, both are betrayed by those that they depend on. Joker is betrayed from childhood by his mother, by his stepfather, I guess by his original father. I can't remember what happened to the original father. He's betrayed by the system by the government, by his therapist. He's betrayed by the people around him that he depends on. Now, why does he depend on them? Well, he depends on them because he's got, he's 
he's mentally ill. Now, why is he mentally ill? He's mentally ill because they betrayed him to begin with. So it's kind of a, it's a vicious circle. But as the movie portrays, there's no escape for him. There's no way out. It's very deterministic, although you could argue that if you're traumatized enough in childhood uh, by your parents about external factors, there's no way to escape that, right? You're, you're going to suffer for it. But so Joker suffers for it, and he, he, becomes, he becomes the only thing that the movie... Um, yeah, Joker's mother, uh, mother's boyfriend beats him, not... I, th I thought it was a stepdad, but it's a boyfriend, whatever. And the mother denies it, and the mother rejects that, or, or allows for it. But the point is that the movie portrays that the only solution to being abandoned and betrayed by those who you depend on is violence, right? So the only solution to being abandoned and betrayed by those you depend on is violence. That to me is the theme of the movie. Now that's true of Joker, we can see that, right? So he, he resorts to violence because he has nowhere else to go. He's been betrayed by everything and he actually gets a kick out of the violence. The violence empowers him, the violence gives him, gives him motivation, excites him, thrills him. And the same with the mob. Who has betrayed the mob? Who does the mob depend on? The mob depends on government. The mob depends on the rich. The mob depends on Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, the bad man's father. Right? And they have betrayed the mob. And therefore the only solution for the mob is violence. And of course, the movie doesn't challenge the idea that the mob is dependent on government, that the mob must get its livelihood from government, that the, the jobs must be created by government, that, you know, drugs for mental health must be, must be distributed by government, that the rich, I mean, think about the character of Bruce Wayne in the movie. He is an, he is a, he is an asshole. He's an arrogant, he's a caricature of the rich man who doesn't care about anybody, who doesn't care about the poor, who calls them you know, uh, 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 what do you call it? He calls them the uh, repugnant and, and you know, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne? What's, what's, the, what's the name of the father in, uh, not John Wayne. Anyway, the father of Batman. Um, he is, he's arrogant, he's detached, and he gets killed in it because that's, because they can't rely on him. He's supposed to ride to the rescue. Ride to the rescue by doing what? By giving them stuff by supporting them, by, by supporting a welfare state. So the movie's theme is when betrayed by those you depend on and you depend on them, there is no alternative but violence. And that's a false theme. That is a false theme. Because at least you could argue, maybe you could argue for, for Joker that he had no options, right? But for society, of course it has options. The options are better system. The options are to get rid of government. And yet here, the mob is portrayed as mindless, nihilistic, but lack with no choice. What can you do? And of course, the mob embraces Joker as their ideal, as their ideal. And the one person who says that, you know, I want to do something better while dismissing the rioting and everything is Batman's father and he's killed. He's killed, right? So, you know, so I think, um, I think the theme is, is an evil thing. It's a theme of dependence, psychological, and, uh, you know, economic and, and you know, uh, 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 existential dependence on others. It's, it's, a, it's a, it, Joker has no independence. Now, again, he's mentally ill, but you chose to make him mentally ill. Um, 
uh, the, 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 the mother claims she couldn't have done anything. She, you know, she, she claims mental illness and therefore she can't help herself. The mob can't help itself. It's just reacting to the betrayal. There, there is no personal responsibility. It's a rejection of the idea of personal responsibility. And basically, if it's a warning sign for anything, it's, it's a pro-welfare state. Don't, don't betray the people. Keep them fed. Keep jobs coming for them. So that they don't riot in the street, burn the city down, and destroy. That nihilism is the only solution when government does not take care of its people. Just like violence for Joker is the only solution when he can't, when he is betrayed by his mother. Anyway, that to me is the theme. That's what integrates every aspect of the movie. The movie is a good movie in that respect. It does actually integrate into a theme. The theme is just an evil theme. It's a bad theme. It's a bad theme. It's and in that sense, it's 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 not good. It 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 to me, shocking that the movie did so well and did so well not just in the United States. It did well in in Europe and in the rest of the world. And to me, that's shocking and and um, depressing about the state of the world. Usually, movies with themes like this do very poorly. Um, so maybe there's something else going on here in terms of why it did so well, but um, maybe it's because people are responding to this thing. Yeah. Robin mentions, uh, yes, that 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 uh, um, Joker is also betrayed by the TV host. That's right. He looks up to the TV host. He betrays him. The only solution to betrayal like that, because you're dependent on other people, right, is violence. Um, okay, that's what I wanted to say about Joker. Okay, I guess if we if we don't have any um, if we don't have any additional questions, and I don't see that we have, I'm going to call this a night. Um, maybe we can have uh, maybe we could splice that part about Joker and turn it into a Joker two shorter video. Um, if uh, if Action Jackson is still there, he can do it. Um, yes. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to youronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, Show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...